Yeah, I mean, uh, UNH is, is cool because it definitely has, you know, like the sort of open mic social thing, and and those are fun. You know, we, we play lots of those, uh, or we, we, we did in the past. That's something Alex and I used to do. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's definitely difficult to try to get people interested in, in what you're doing. Um, I remember after playing, uh, like, the homecoming show with Alex at the Whittemore Center, it was like 8,000, somewhere between six and 8,000 people, um, and there were some people yelling, like, oh, I go to UNH, like, like, you're so awesome or something, and I was like, look, I, I've been here for two years, like, playing music advertising it everywhere, and it's not until you get this, like, sort of veneer of fame that people... Uh, are interested enough to go check it out. And that's not really a fault in the people, but more in like the overall music culture, I think, right now, is that we, we don't appreciate music when it doesn't have a sort of aftertaste of fame and fortune. And um, so, you know, I, I, I love my UNH fans and, and locals and stuff, and like they're really supportive, um, especially like uh, professors are really supportive of it. Um, but trying to start something organically is definitely very difficult. So, what do you think is the answer if there is an answer? I got Go for it. <laughs> well, there's not really a good outlet for it, it seems like, at, at UNH. There's, you know, Dover, there's Dover Rock City, and Portsmouth has a great bar scene, but for the most part, people who aren't 21 can't go see your shows in Dover and Portsmouth anyways, and they usually don't have any way to get there, uh, depending on, you know, the bus schedule or driving, and if they are 21, then driving becomes its own caveat. And the bar scene in Durham is so much more geared around the, you know, like the drink deals and, and DJs or trivia or like things that people enjoy doing, so it's, it's not really a music-centric bar scene where I think other there are other markets, you know, that's why people flock to Boston and LA and Austin and Nashville is there are, there's a distinct music scene where people go out to have drinks and see bands, not have drinks and, you know, do whatever, play trivia, see a DJ, you know, play pool, whatever. So I think that it's just, it's sort of a function of the culture in Durham, but it's, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just, that's what the population wants here, I think. Mm -hmm. well, then